To integrate this, we'll have to first simplify the function. Observe the numerator is of the format a square minus b square where a is equal to sin x power 4 and b is equal to cos x power 4. So our numerator can be written as sin x power 4 minus cos x power 4 multiplied by sin x power 4 plus cos x power 4. Here the first term is again of the format a square minus b square where a is equal to sin square x and b is equal to cos square x. So our first term can be expanded to sin square x minus cos square x multiplied by sin square x plus cos square x. For the second term, we will add 2 sin square x cos square x to make it a perfect square. As we have added a term, we will also have to subtract the term. So now here we have got three terms. The first term sin square x minus cos square x can be written as minus cos 2x. The second term sin square x plus cos square x becomes 1. Now in the third term, we can combine the first three terms to make it a perfect square of sin square x plus cos square x. And we will be left with the term minus 2 sin square x cos square x. As sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1, we can rewrite the second term as 1 minus 2 sin square x cos square x, which will get cancelled out with the denominator. Hence, our function gets simplified to minus cos 2x. Now, to integrate this, we will put 2x is equal to t. On differentiating both sides, we will get 2dx equal to dt or dx is equal to half of dt. On substitution, our integral will become minus half of integral cos t dt. Integration of cos t is sin t. So our integral result will be minus half of sin t plus c. Substituting t back in terms of x, we will get minus half sin 2x plus c.